Good morning guys, it's day 5 here in Guatemala and today I'm going to have a long day out in service but we leave in like 5 minutes and I literally just woke up so I have to go I am slowly realizing that it really does stink to live out of a suitcase especially when you are late for service how are you? Nothing? Nope. That's nice guy. So instead of walking to the hall for service today, we're going to take a tuk tuk. Um basically it's like a the taxi of Guatemala. And I'll try to get footage of it here in a minute. Tuk tuk. Two rides. Hey, me white. Funny. Go sleep. <laughs> yeah, both times. Eight twenty is not the time for service. Never the time for service. Back nine, at home, it's nine thirty. Yeah. But I, this is my saying. T I G. This is Guatemala. <laughs> Nothing makes sense. Tons of fun, sort of. grouped up outside the hall and we are going to go work some territory all day. So we'll see how that goes. I'm taking the lead today. Say hi to the folks at home. Hello. Come to Guatemala. It's fun and not humid. Okay. Okay, so if you want to start heading the group that way. That's Natalie. And the other sisters are walking over here and Annie's being a kind gentleman helping the sisters down. There's a nice view. Look at the difference. That and then that. This is starting to become an adventure. We're just walking, literally, in just woods. Not even woods, the forest. What? Nothing. Video. Vlogging for the family. This is my friend Bill Gross. Hola, como esta? They speak English. Back in Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. You learn a lot of Spanish. Down here. Exactly. He's a great brother so far. So, <laughs> yeah, but I could hope, mess up. Yeah, he could mess up. So yeah. if he starts to stumble on me, I'll make sure to run away. I'm just as imperfect, but maybe more so than everybody else. <laughs> the thing here is that these houses don't have numbers. So to write down not at homes, you kind of have to describe the house, where it is, and try to put it on a map so that we can come back at a later time where English people might be home. So, a lot of our time is just standing there trying to describe the house right there, so. It's definitely new, for me at least. It's a peach. I saved a little bit and I gave it to him, but I forgot I had the chilies in the bag. Oh. And they were all like, why are these peaches, why are these peaches, why are they spicy? They didn't eat them, but I guess just being oh. with the chilies, yeah. it's all yeah. We're taking a break to this pavilion thing, and I just see back in the water, a little huggless fresh bag of water. I'm tired. Buenos días. So now I am at the Eisenhower's house. Um, 
We're here to check out on um, check out the boat. We're actually going to ride it across the lake to the other side uh, to preach on Wednesday. So Andy was coming here to check it out, see how it's going. But I figured now would be a good time to show you their house. So let's go. This is like the second time I've been here, but it's a pretty nice house. That's Andy's bike. That's the outside, and that's their Land Rover or their Jeep, rather. Of some hedges and some trees. It's really pretty. These birds, we actually got the first day I, I got in from Atlanta. On the way here, we stopped by and got them. And let's just say it was an experience. They have a hot tub here, agave plants little swing set for your childhood memories. Oh, the perfect climbing tree. A water tank, something like that. And uh, I've actually never been inside, but I'm sure it's just as great. And there's the boat right there. A little pavilion. Have a little hammock there that Andy's talking on. And you can kind of see the lake, and I'll show you that here in a minute. So, that's the view from the Eisenhower's house, which is right uh, right there. That's, the, that's where the gate is. Um, but it's absolutely gorgeous there. Um, the possibility of me coming to spend a week with them at their house and I wouldn't be too mad about it I ain't even mad it was absolutely gorgeous and we're gonna take the boat all the way over there to that volcanic mountain and uh, you can't see it from here but there are actually houses and little villages over there so I'm really psyched for that. But yeah, man. Living it up here in Guatemala. Take that, Georgia. All your dumb trees. So I'm swinging on a hammock at the Eisenhower's house. And I don't think I'm ever going to leave. Because I don't want to leave. This is so relaxing. There's a nice breeze, gorgeous view from here. Simply, simply great. That's all I can say right now. Um, I think we're going to go play basketball later around 5. Right now it's uh, 3 o'clock here in Panajachel, Guatemala. And loving every day. Exhausted from service, but well worth it in the end, I think. Well worth it in the end. Hope all my viewers are enjoying themselves in Georgia. And here's Adelina. You don't want to be say hi to my friends back in Georgia. Say hi to my friends. She's shot. That's the daughter, obviously. She's fun. I think you saw her in yesterday's vlog in the car. She was screaming. But, um, anyways. You like my hand more than the keys. Evil little cat. I love cats. <laughs> Swish cheese. Is that corny? Probably. Nope. There you go. Outside playing basketball with the brothers from the other Spanish house. And look at our view. Oh, 
Finished the game of basketball with the friends. Senses. I still suck. Hey guys, so I'm finally back home after a long day. After basketball, I went to Andy's house and had pizza and watched a movie. And then I took a tuk tuk back over here to Amy's and Willis's house. <sighs> Super long day. Really tired from service, but service was great. I met some new people. And I got to talk to a couple people, um, asking if they knew anyone who spoke English, um, which isn't really common, especially in the rural part of town. But it was a great experience, and I can't wait to keep doing it and hopefully find some people on Wednesday when we go across the lake and to the other side, which will hopefully be a fantastic vlog. Uh, anyways, I'm super tired. I'm going to edit and upload and we have the meeting tomorrow so uh, and stay I think five here in Guatemala thanks for watching and I hope you guys are enjoying it so far I love doing it and I just hope you like watching it just as much so good night hope all is well and I'll see you guys tomorrow